this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions here to bring you another fun project today. So this is the project I'm making. I'm actually going to make it a little bit different. Today we're going to be using Watermelon Wonder and Flirty Flamingo. Um, I don't work well on pinks, so this is going to be a challenge for me. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go through some of the uh, products that we're going to need today. So you're going to need an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Watermelon Wonder. And I went ahead and scored that at four and a quarter. Um, you're going to wind up folding that in half. Then we're going to need two pieces of four by five and a quarter Whisper White and some extra scrap Whisper White as well. So part of it you need to make just so that you can use your stamp on it and then punch it out with your petite petals punch. And then others you're going to need to have it large enough, about a three by four piece of paper, uh, Whisper White, in order to cut out your um, oval from. So you guys want to know what oval we're using. I'll actually show you. So in our uh, new catalog, new annual catalog, we have these layering oval framelits dies. And they're awesome. And yes, they're a little expensive. They're $35. But you get all of these ovals. Um, so some of them are scalloped. Some of them are just straight up ovals. So if you go to the bottom right hand corner of your, um, when you first open it up, and you go the second one in from the right hand corner, that is the one that I used for this project, um, which is this one right here. Uh, so I went ahead and used that. I already cut it out for us, saves ourselves a little bit of time here. Um, so that's how I used that. So on top of that, what else are we gonna be using today? We are using two stamp sets, the Petite Petals stamp set, and we're gonna be using this one here. In my original, I used this one here, but I wanted to make it a little bit different. And we're also going to be using Thankful Thoughts. I'm going to be using this Thanks and where'd it go? Um, your generosity is only second to your fabulosity. So I'm going to be using those two today as well. And then we need stale Snail, our Petite Petals Punch, a sponge, as I said, Flirty Flamingo and Watermelon Wonder ink, and top it all off, some rhinestones. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to do all my darker color first, and we're actually going to grab our stamp and scrub here as well. Okay. So we're going to do our watermelon wonder first, um, just because it's the darker color and I find that easier. So I already have my stamps mounted. Um, I'm going to be doing all of the sentiment work in the darker, which is watermelon wonder. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Set this off to the side here. Oof. Okay, there we go. So I use my grid paper for absolutely everything. I use it to line it up. Um, I would actually stamp first next time and then cut out your oval, but again, to save some time, I went ahead and I stamped first. Eh, I don't like that. We're going to flip it over. Nobody's going to see it but us. Little too wet on my watermelon wonder here. Straight down, straight up. That's better, I like that, that's pretty good. So we're gonna grab our inside piece as well. I'm gonna grab that and my inside sentiment. Go ahead and stamp that in Watermelon Wonder as well. Ooh, nice and juicy. Line that up, straight down, straight up. Oof, don't like that. Flip it on over, we're gonna do that again. That wasn't very straight. That's better. Okay, it's a little bit off, but that's a lot better than it was. So then we're gonna set that off. Oh, actually, we're gonna keep that in camera here. And we are going to grab, there it is. <laughs> we're gonna grab our stamp here. Um, and I did the corners of this. So I just went ahead and I just kind of stamped randomly in the corners and I did two corners in each of the colors. There we go. And then we're going to go and we're going to grab our scrap piece. So I did one in the darker and I did two in the lighter. So just kind of set that off to the side. You're going to need that piece of scrap again. Now for our front piece. I know, let's get us all confused here. So for our front piece, you kind of want these things to overlap. And now if you notice, you have a little bit overlapping there anyways, and you kind of want to swoop down a little bit. So I put my first one as my lower one, 
My second one is my outside one. My third one is my other side of outside. And then I just kind of fill in the gaps. And you are gonna want these to overlap some. Um, but go ahead and rotate it. Go ahead and, you know, just keep stamping until you think you've got it covered the way you want it. And we're gonna do that. Go like that. Um, so just kind of keep filling in all those gaps and you only want to go about halfway up. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I actually might do one more over here. Just kind of, no, I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, so then I'm going to actually use my stamp and scrub and I'm actually going to clean off my stamp real quick. And we're going to close up our Watermelon Wonder. We're going to open our Flirty Flamingo. So the rest of this is actually done in flirty flamingo, um, just because I wanted a little bit of contrast. Now, if you notice, this actually this idea came out of um, one of the ideas in the annual catalog, and I thought it was cute, but I kind of wanted to do it in some different colors. And I was kind of like, okay, you know, let's do it in a little different color. There we go. I didn't like those. Let's do that one on the side. Make sure I get everything inked up here. Overlap that one. There we go. Um, and I kind of wanted to try it in different colors. So uh, my an original is in Elegant Eggplant and Sweet Sugar Plum. And this one I did in Watermelon Wonder and Flirty Flamingo. Um, I don't know what Peekaboo Peach and Calypso Coral would look like, but I'm guessing they would look pretty cool. I think we're good there and slide that off to the side. Let it dry for just a few seconds. Pull back in your scrap piece of paper. We're gonna stamp two more of these here. And the second one, there we go. And then grab back in your, whoop, inside of your card. And put that down. And we're just gonna kinda fill in again. There we go, and on the other side. Now this, would, this technique would also be really cute at the bottom of the envelope, if you guys are interested in doing that. I'm actually not gonna be putting this in an envelope um, before I give it to somebody, so um, we're gonna be good. <laughs> Do not put away your flirty flamingo. All right, so grab your piece with your thanks on it. Grab a stamp and sponge. Now this is just a quarter, they come in like circles. Um, this is a quarter of mine. You can also use uh, an eighth, I guess. That became a little too small for me. Um, so I went ahead and I used the quarter. And just go ahead and sponge around the edges real quick. Kind of get that color moving. Um, I think I actually want it a little bit deeper in. So I'm gonna angle mine a little bit more. There we go. And now this is just to give it a little bit of definition around it. Um, just to make it a little fun. I thought about layering another piece of Watermelon Wonder underneath it, but then it became a little too chaotic for me. Um, so I, you can try it by all means, go up one size in the ovals and you have that ability. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this out here, punch out our flowers. And let's see if I can get these all lined up. Awesome thing about this, this stamp set, I'm not a big flowery girl. Um, but there's enough that I can do with it that makes me feel like not too girly girly. So that's really nice. So now you're done with your, your uh, punch here. Go ahead and set that to the side. We're going to start our process of layering it up and completing our card. All right, so score in half, not on some wonky little line that I apparently did. And I apparently scored up four and not four and a quarter. And I don't know why. Hmm. All right, we can fix that though. It's okay, just kind of, there we go. I'm gonna use my bone folder to do this. If I was actually giving this to somebody, I get a new piece of cardstock. There we go. Okay, so now that's the front of my card. We're gonna grab our piece here, a little bit of snail. Stick to the front. Go ahead and layer that on the top. If you're me, you have a really big problems getting everything straight. So if you're a little bit off, this one doesn't really matter so much. Go ahead and grab your inside piece. Go 
ahead and layer that on the inside. There we go. I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals, see if I can find my dimensionals. Where did I put them? All right, hang on, two seconds, guys. Pausing this, hold on one minute. Okay, there we go. So now I got my went ahead and I got my dimensionals. Sorry about that. I was a little bit behind there. I'm gonna take three of them and place them on the back of mine. I like mine to have definite dimension here. Go ahead and pull this back in. Line them up in the center. There we go. Last but not least, we're gonna add our three punched flowers. We're gonna slide this off to the side. Turn these all right side up. And the back of my ear paper piercer here is an awesome little tool. Go ahead and poke those into the back. I flip them over and attach them to my card with some glue dots. Um, you can by far use glue, but I find glue dots to be so much easier. Pull in our card here. So this is a light flower. You want it on top of a light flower, and I kind of want it right about here. So we're gonna Oops, lost some of my dimension there. And we're going to place... This is another light one. I'm going to do this one right here. Last but not least, our dark one. We're going to place that one right there. Grab in our rhinestones, wherever I just hid them. There they are. We're going to use these medium rhinestones here. And pick a couple up. I put six on my original. I'm thinking about putting five on here. So I put one in the middle of each one of the popped up rhinestones. Oops, there we go. And then I'm just going to pick two random ones here. And I'm just going to put rhinestones on those as well. All right, there we have it. There's our quick thank you card using our petite petals stamp set and punch. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. For all directions, dimensions, supplies, um, things like that, go ahead and click in the description bar below and you can find a link directly to my site where you can purchase supplies as well as get the directions for this card. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. This is Mel from Crash Second Concoction saying see you guys next time. Bye.